Good morning, my friends. Today, I am heading back to one of my favorite theme parks in the world, Dollywood. It's going to be so much fun. This is going to be a solo trip, just 48 hours. This is going to be very interesting. As of last night, I did not even know that I was going to make it out here and I booked it not even 12 hours ago. I don't know what to expect. I am just so excited to be back at Dollywood. But for now, I do have a plane to catch. Let's not waste any more time. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Well, thank goodness security doesn't seem too bad today. The wait time is 13 to 17 minutes. This is a hotel inside of the terminal. There's the Disney store right over there. And then we have a Universal Orlando store. I always get so nervous when I'm about to go through security because you never know how bad the TSA line is going to be because there's so many people that will fly in and out of this airport every single day. And away we go. Is this just me or does this happen to any of you when you travel via an airplane? Once you make it through security, you make it to your terminal, you have to go find your gate just to make sure your gate is there, it exists, and then you can go to the bathroom, get coffee before it's time to board. It's the famous MCO carpet. My gate does exist. I have about another 20 minutes until it's time to board and then I do have a connection flight this morning in Atlanta for about an hour and 10 minutes and then I have a very short flight. I think it's only a 52 minute flight to Knoxville, Tennessee. I am flying on Delta this morning, which I am very happy about because like I mentioned, I booked this super last minute. I did not know if there were going to be any available seats left, but I did find a few seats as of last night when I booked this. It's just crazy that I'm here about to hop on a flight over to Tennessee. It's time to board. I always have to touch the plane for good luck. I made it to my seat. I'm ready to go. This was one of three seats available as of last night. I got lucky with an aisle and then I think I got lucky because there's nobody in the middle. All right, welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. That was such a nice flight. I have about another hour until I board my connection off to Tennessee. In the meantime, I'm starving. Let's go find something to eat. I'm on the plane train heading over to Concourse D. I need to make my way over to gate 44, but in the meantime, they have an Einstein Bros. I'm going to get myself a bagel. Breakfast of champions right here. <laughs> Yo, this airport is massive. It is so easy to get lost in this place. Georgia, Georgia. Ooh, I like this cap. I could not find a place to sit because like I said, this airport is so crazy, but I found a place called Grindhouse Killer Burgers. I ordered myself a mimosa, I'm going to eat my bagel, and I may order something else. I have about 50 minutes left before I board. I really enjoyed my mimosa. I feel pretty incredible right now, not going to lie. I also really enjoyed my egg sandwich from Einstein, and now we have like 12 more minutes until I board and then we're off to start my solo exciting trip to Dollywood. Something else that is kind of interesting, I have never been on a super small aircraft before and during this flight I'm taking a extremely small aircraft over to Knoxville because like I said I think the flight is like 52, 54 minutes if that. Tennessee? Here I come. It is very tiny. Hello. Hi, I'm a boy. Thank you. I'm on the plane. I was able to upgrade to a exit row, which is nice because I have a little bit more leg room. I have a window seat.
Welcome to Knoxville. Look at these black bears wearing bunny ears to celebrate Easter. That was such a easy and nice flight experience. It is good to be back. We actually got here in 33 minutes, so we got here a lot faster than what I originally thought. I just ordered myself a Uber, and now I'm going to head over to the rideshare pickup location and get over to Dollywood's Heart Song Lodge and Resort, Dollywood's newest hotel. I just got dropped off. My Uber driver was awesome. They have luggage service available and valet parking. Oh, I see Dolly. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> this place is so nice. Hello. It smells so good in here. I love this. Fun fact. I get to see Miss Dolly Parton tomorrow inside of her theme park. Okay. Let's uh, go check in, head up to the room, and then I'll do some exploring because there is a lot to see here. Even the inside of the elevators are very well themed. And just like that, I have finally made it to my room here at Dollywood's Heart Song Lodge and Resort, the newest resort here at Dollywood. This is also the second resort. Of course, right across the street, you have the original resort, Dream More. I have stayed there so many times, so if you want some more information, I'll be sure to leave that full playlist down in the description below if you want some more information, if you want to check out those videos, because I have a lot of videos from Dollywood. I love this place. You know, it is so surreal and crazy to me right now because truth be told this time yesterday i did not think i would be here right now i did not think i could pull this off just because of timing life has been crazy and life has just been life and everybody goes through life things happen that you just don't totally understand at the moment and just to clarify nothing bad has happened just life that we all have to live and go through the original plan was for myself and bianca to drive the tesla here to pigeon forge tennessee but that plan quickly changed just because of just things that have been happening in our life and at the end of the day that car ride was going to be a little over 11 hours with all of the stops for charging so I just decided to fly last minute and Bianca stayed home to take care of some business and I'm here for a few days. Everything happens for a reason. I think I was meant to be here because this place makes me happy. It's so cozy and homey and everybody is super friendly and you have that Dolly Parton touch and then you have the theme park which we're going to be exploring all day tomorrow. Today is just all going to be about exploring this beautiful new resort and i'm hungry so we need to go downstairs and find something to eat i'm going to show you guys this room give you a quick room tour that way you know what to expect and then i'm going to freshen up put everything away maybe take a quick cat nap i don't know yet and then we'll continue on but for now let me show you this room. This room is located on the fifth floor. That's your front door. You have a full length mirror to check your fit before heading out. And then over here, you have some hooks to hang up your jacket or things like that. And then you have your bathroom. Very nice. I love mirrors with the light built in like that. Oh, how adorable is that? And then over here, you have a piece of artwork. Smoky Mountain Moments are treasured memories. Yes, they are. I like that. Here's your sink. You have body lotion and a facial soap bar. And then down here you have your hair dryer with all of your towels. 
You have a split bathroom for privacy with your toilet and your shower. You have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash right there on the wall. And that's about it here. And then you have your closet space. You have a mini refrigerator, pretty standard, safe. That could definitely fit a computer, a laptop, an ice bucket, a steam iron, that's nice. And then you have an ironing board, hangers. They do offer laundry service here. Moving on to the rest of the room, there's your thermostat. Oh yeah, look at this. How nice with the two black bears right there. Very nice king size bed. And then you have your telephone, a notepad, a pen, outlets with two USB ports. And then you have reading lights on both sides of the headboard. I do really like the headboard as well. And then down here, you have some additional outlets and USB ports. This is just the additional pillow and covers for the pull down mattress, which is right there. You have a nice TV, more storage down here. You have your remote channel guide and then the spa over at Dream More. You have a coffee machine, a little workspace. They do also offer in-room dining. You just scan this QR code. This is a nice touch. And then they also have this, which I love when resorts and cruise lines offer this, where you can fill this out, put this out on your door the night before, and then in the morning you can have food delivered at whatever time you want. And then because I'm here at Dollywood, you can order the grist meal cinnamon bread right to your door. $13 per loaf, that's a nice perk. And then they have a sound machine, which I love because I use this at home. And then you have some postcards to take home with you. And then you have a couch right here. And then this will make a second bed. I'm gonna pull this down right now so you can see. Let's get this down. Pretty easy. Oh yeah, look at that. Good night. Tomorrow's going to be a great day. Love Dolly. This is a queen size bed. I did just lay down in it. It's pretty comfortable. You have some lights up top with two more USB ports and outlets right there. This would be perfect for the kiddos. Finally, here's the view that I have and we can see a good portion of the rest of the resort. There's the main lobby right there. Ooh, look at this really nice outdoor fire pit area. I'll definitely go down there at some point this evening. That looks very nice. What is this? Like a outdoor restaurant or a lounge? Hmm. And then we have the resort pool right there. Looks like you can rent cabanas poolside. There's a additional fire pit right there and a slide or a small playground right there with the mountains back there. Oh, you also have this little shelf as soon as you walk in to place your keys or sunglasses or room cards. Hey babe. Wow, hi babe. I wanna show you the room real quick. That's nice. There's the bathroom. Wow. Oh, it's so big. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. About an hour or so later, I have freshened up. I took a shower, the shower is great. I tried to lay my head down to try to take a nap. I could not fall asleep because I am starving. <laughs> so I need to go find some food and then let's go explore this resort. My room is right down here, but I wanted to point out they have these fountains. That way you can refill your water bottle. They have a microwave and a ice machine. Very convenient. Okay, I am right back where I started when I walked in here in the main lobby. There's the giant portrait of Miss Dolly Parton herself. Looks like they're handing out some lemonade or something over there. That's nice. All right, let's walk around here. So you have check-in right here. That's the front door where you will first enter this resort. And then I wanted to show you they have a sundries market, which is open 24 seven. If you need any snacks or beverages, 
or if you forgot anything, they have you covered. Batteries, headphones, sunscreen, things like that. Front porch punch. Yes. From four to six. Thank you so much. No you guys have a great day, okay? I'm now on the other side of the main lobby. That's check-in. That's the front door. I'm gonna head over here first to see what's in this direction. You have the acoustic lobby. Oh yeah, this is really nice in here. It looks like just a place to come sit down and hang out, maybe do some work, do some chit chatting, maybe bring a adult beverage in here. They have Dolly Parton books all over the place. I like it. The beauty I saw in the Smokies as a child, I still see in the mountains, season after season, Dolly. It says there's a restaurant over here this restaurant is called Amber and Elm, their main signature restaurant here. It is a beautiful space. I just left the restaurant right there. I'm now walking down in this direction and it looks like all that is down here are event spaces that you can rent and you can also rent this space as well. But I just wanted to come over here because I knew it was going to be quiet and empty. Look at this view. I love seeing mountains and nature because coming from Florida, you know, the state is so flat. There's not really much to look at. So I am really enjoying this. There's Dreamore right there, not too far away. And here's the rest of the ballroom space. I'm going to walk back towards the main lobby now. I am really loving all of the pieces of artwork throughout the main lobby. I'm back outside again. That's the main entrance right there. This is where you'll pull up if you are dropping bags off, checking in, or if you need any luggage assistance. Those are the event spaces right there. How nice. But you have rocking chairs, a nice fountain here. This would make a great backdrop for a photo, actually. I am just so happy to be back here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I love this place. I'm always so relaxed and I'm just at peace when I'm here. And that's why I always like to come out here. I know I've probably said I'm happy to be here 1000 times, but I'm just happy to be here. I can't believe I'm back. I also like all of the firefly theming around this resort. And there are rooms that offer balconies. Now, not every room has a balcony, but some do. Back inside now, I'm just on the other side of the giant Dolly Parton portrait. There's check-in. Looks like this is a fireplace right here. That's neat. You have more places to relax in. There's a ton of space. I love these massive windows. Look at that view. This place is just so cozy and homey, and that's why I love to stay at a Dollywood resort. And also the service is great. There's check-in once again. I'm now heading towards the other side of the resort. Let's check out Songbird Market, which is their grab-and-go quick service location. Oh man, my stomach is growling at me right now. You have snacks, grab-and-go, Salads, parfaits, fresh fruit, milk, more snacks. These look kind of good. They have a Coca-Cola freestyle machine. This is where you will pick up your order. Coffee, which is nice for in the morning. And then you can build your own pizza, ice cream, and milkshakes. Chopped sandwiches. Ooh, they have a Philly cheesesteak hoagie and a chicken pot pie. You can get Dollywood's famous grist mill cinnamon bread right here, fresh. This is calling my name. You can also find some other pastries and such. And here are the hours for Songbird Market. Right across from the market, let's go check out Honey, Suckle, and Pine, which is their gift shop. Here are the hours. They have the books that were around the acoustic lounge at the front of the resort. They have her album. I found some merchandise for the ladies. I like these hats with the glitter, a wine glass, fanny pack, some 
sweaters, shirts, things like that. This is a nice sweater. This shirt was just put out today. I will always love you, Dollywood's Music Festival. Moving on here, you can find a ATM, and then they do have a ticket counter. So if you need to purchase your tickets or pick up your tickets or get your time saver passes because when you stay here, you do get time saver passes included. And then they have a fitness center. Well, it's not too much, but I can make do. They have cables. So yeah, this is perfect. That's all I need. They have a few treadmills, a bike, elliptical, a TV, water, and towels. Yeah. I'm just happy it's open 24 seven. That's the fitness center. That's the ticket counter. I'm just going to continue walking here. There's a outdoor space right here. This is where the activities will happen. Here's all of the events taking place. Lots of stuff. Porch sitting movies. They have some games out here. I am now here at the Cove, the main pool. It is closed right now. But here's a look. Like I said, they do have cabanas available. Plenty of lounge chairs. I like the design of the pool. They do have towels available. That way you don't have to bring a towel from your room. And then they do have a hot tub, which is open from 8 a.m. until 10 o'clock p.m. Adults only. Okay, I like that. And there's the hot tub. They do also have a splash pad for the kiddos. And then right behind me, they do have an indoor pool. So that's very nice. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is, hot or cold, you do have an option to go swimming, both indoor and outdoor. So that could explain why the outdoor pool is not open right now. Probably because it is kind of chilly, but not really. Here's the fire pit. I like it. It feels really nice right now because the sun is starting to go down for the day. So it's not as warm anymore. It's actually starting to get kind of chilly. I also like how they have plenty of chairs around the fire pit. I feel like I have to say this again because I am not used to just so many friendly faces all around you. From the moment I arrived at the airport, my Uber driver was very kind, very sweet. He was an older gentleman who moved here from Florida and we were just talking about life and stuff like that. Does that ever happen to any of you guys when you take an Uber, you just have a really good conversation with the driver? That happened today. And then from the moment I walked in this place, I mean, from the staff to just the people staying here because tomorrow is opening day for the 2024 season. So tomorrow is pass holder day and they're also having a media event, but the general public can't come until Saturday. Tomorrow's Friday, and you can just tell people who really love Dollywood is here, and they're excited, and this is just a feeling I haven't felt in a while. You're just excited for a theme park to open for this season because unlike our parks in Florida, Dollywood is not open all year round. They close down for the winter. They do have fire pits all over the property. There's that slide. This area just looks like a place for the kiddos to burn off some energy and just let them run around. So the lawn is just right over there. And then in this area, they have some more games to pass time. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know about Dollywood's Heart Song Lodge and Resort. Very nice place. So happy I'm staying here. I can already recommend this place. I just can't get over this view. Oh, okay. So this is a little lounge. This place is called the High Note Casual Dining and Drink. They have a grab and go window right here so you can order a drink from the bar you can come sit down right outside and just take in the beauty of being outdoors. So this isn't too big. It looks like this is attached to the main restaurant right here. And then here's the bar. Finally, it is time to eat. Here are the cocktails. I did order myself the spiced old fashioned. They also have mocktails. And then we have some shareables. Ooh. 
Oh man, they have the classic chicken wings. They have brick oven fired flatbreads here. They also have salads, burgers and sandwiches. Ooh, this Tennessee whiskey bacon barbecue burger is calling my name. Springer Mountain Farms fried chicken sandwich. Jeez. What else do we have here? Springer Mountain Farms fried chicken. We have trout, filet mignon, and desserts. Oh my goodness, the Tennessee Mountain Apple stack cake. S'mores cheesecake, Mason jar strawberry shortcake, Tennessee cheesecake. Oh my goodness, decisions, decisions. I did order myself a spiced old fashioned for $15. And let me tell you, I can already smell the spices and the bourbon coming from this drink. This is Buffalo Trace bourbon, my favorite. Spiced brown sugar syrup, candied orange, filthy black cherries, and Fee Brothers bitters. This presentation is incredible. Let's give it a try. Cheers. That is exactly how. <laughs> Excuse me. That's strong bourbon. This is exactly how I like my old fashions. I like them to have a little bit more spices than a normal old fashioned. And I definitely have that in this drink. I love the Buffalo Trace bourbon. Like I said, that is my favorite kind of bourbon on the market right now. It's hard to find, not every store has it in stock. And then you have the filthy cherries, the filthy black cherries. Those are also my favorite. This is just all around a really good spiced old fashioned. I ordered the East Tennessean. This was $21. For my next adult beverage, I decided to go with the Hot Toddy for $14. Originally, this comes with Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey, but I opted for Buffalo Trace. This flatbread is absolutely delicious. I love the Alfredo sauce. I love the peaches, the balsamic vinegar, and the cheeses. It all just works so well together. This was actually recommended by my server, Mike. I'm so glad I decided to go with this. I'm going to enjoy every single bite, and then I have a fried chicken dinner coming up next. As far as my hot toddy, it's simple. If you enjoy hot toddies, you're going to enjoy this one from High Notes. This is exactly how I like my hot toddies. Yes, it is now time for my main entree. I went with the Springer Mountain Farms Fried Chicken. This was $29. This is pickled brine chicken thighs, mashed potatoes, black pepper milk gravy, and agave glazed carrots. This looks so dang good. Let's give it a try. I am throwing in the towel. I am stuffed. I'm full. I'm happy. I'm exhausted. That fried chicken dinner was the best chicken dinner I've ever had. And I'm really trying to think back to other really good fried chicken dishes, but I really don't think any dish compares to this. And what really stood out for me was how it was marinated and brined with dill pickle juice. It was juicy. It was just everything I wanted in a fried chicken dish. It was fresh. It was still so hot when I took my first bite. And then you have the agave carrots. They were just fantastic. And then you have the mashed potatoes with that black pepper gravy. Man, this, this is going to put me to bed, honestly. I am so tired after eating here. I couldn't leave this place and not try this dessert. This is the Tennessee Mountain Apple Stack Cake. This was $16. This is their signature homemade dessert, which features rich and hearty molasses and spiced apple flavors throughout layers of griddled and stacked cake. These layers are filled with spiced apple butter and topped with powdered sugar. Just got done with dinner. I did have to bring a lot of this back to the room with me because I'm so full. This was good. It just was not my favorite. It was basically like a dessert pancake. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is very good. I'm going to eat this. It's just not like a dessert for me, if that makes sense. But I'm just ending the night enjoying this fire pit because it is a little chilly now. It is so nice 
just sitting outside with this crisp Tennessee air. It's quite chilly now, so I'm enjoying that because it's already getting pretty dang hot in Central Florida, so this weather is very nice. The forecast says it's going to rain tomorrow. I'm hoping the rain will go away and come back another day, but we'll see what happens. Would you look at that? They now have all of the fire pits going at all of the different tables. This is our campfire roasties, and so each night we have a fun marshmallow. Ooh. We have some type of a cookie, and we have a regular traditional marshmallow. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is for everybody, not just children. Oh yeah, look at that. And they're playing the cha-cha slide. Come on, man. <laughs> is the acoustic lobby lounge. Dolly has a few outfits and guitars that she's played. I like this. Whoa. Oh my. Very neat. All right, my friends, I am in for the night. It's just now a little after 8 p.m. It's definitely an early evening, but I have all day at Dollywood tomorrow. I plan to be there at park open, and I don't plan on leaving until park close. We have a lot of ground to cover tomorrow. My stomach is very happy right now, which is leading me to feel like I have the itis. I am so sleepy right now. This place is just so dang special and I'm just so happy to be here right now. I'm so happy to be around so many people who love this theme park as much as I do. And it's definitely going to be something to remember. As far as today, it was a great day. It was a long day. Woke up at 5.30, I had a early morning flight I had a connection flight in Atlanta, and then I got here, and it's just been kind of nonstop since. I'm enjoying every minute. I do wanna say a massive thank you to the team here at Dollywood for having me out. You guys have treated me so well here, and I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for tomorrow, because we're in the park tomorrow. There's a lot that we have to get to, and there's a chance I'm going to be meeting Dolly Parton tomorrow. And yeah, that's exciting. And <laughs> I have to get some rest because I will probably be taking down at least 4,000 calories tomorrow. Because I mean, when you come to Dollywood, you know you're going to eat because the food is that good. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.